I think the human toll um, was massive. Um, I think the lockdown, the number of roles that we had to either furlough or, or we had to lose, um, and the reaction we had to make as an industry was just unprecedented, and, and that was certainly extremely hard. Um, so certainly a tough year, but um, I think we've learned a lot, and, and just incredible resilience from the people that are involved in our business, but, but right across the industry and the world. So we're definitely seeing some, some green shoots in various parts of the world, but it's very erratic depending on where governments are opening and closing borders and, and obviously our customers are choosing to fly. Um, so you know, our role really is to be there to uh, stay as close as we can to, to what our customers are doing and try and make sure that we deliver in line with their plans and, and we're flexible enough to cope with those uncertainties. People want to uh, sort of rebuild the trust in travel and I think that's something that we can work right across the supply chain on to make sure that we're delivering trusted products and we're delivering 100% of the time. People want to come out of this pandemic thinking that, that we can actually potentially be in an even better world. Um, and this is something that we, we aspire to too. Um, so we have, um, we're launching a new sort of strap line or, or brand platform called Reconnecting a Better World. And it's, it's something that's really resonating with our customers and, and our suppliers, but also our, our internal staff as well. What we mean by a better world is, you know, sustainability and environment is definitely something that's on the agenda. Um, and we've done a lot in the past when it comes through to the environment. We did, you know, the world's first green turn, fully green turnaround using electric vehicles. We engaged with hotels with sustainability programs on the travel side. Um, you know, we've been very engaged, but we really want to ramp up that engagement, set ourselves some targets and make sure that we are focused internally on improving our environmental footprint. The second thing is people have really appreciated their community. Um, and it's something where we've seen our staff on their own take up charitable efforts within the communities and something they want to continue doing. So we're going to be working very closely through our Donata for Good programme on supporting communities and, uh, and continuing to engage with them in trying to make things better for, for everybody involved. The third thing is well-being and we want to focus on our customer well-being so making sure that you know, everything that we do is hygienic, uh, we give really, really good information, we give them flexibility um, and that we enable travel to really reconnect as quick as possible. Um, but also, you know, for those who are involved from our, from our staff and our, and our people, you know, looking after them, they've been through a really, really difficult time. So we've got wellbeing programmes internally, um, talking about mental health and making sure that we look after people's health through vaccination programmes. And finally, we're doing more work on diversity. We've just signed up to the uh, IATA 25 by 25 programme, which is ensuring that we boost the number of um, women in our, in our workforce, um, which I think is really important. Um, but also really you know, focusing on, on how we become a more diverse company uh, going forward right across the globe. These things that sort of give us higher purpose, I think are things that are going to inspire us through the next year or so. Because um, it's going to be difficult, it's going to be a turbulent recovery. And if we can give this beacon of light that we're trying to do more than just get the industry back on its feet, but actually make it better, I think that's something really inspiring.